time-lapse video shows Huntington visual artist Efren Andalus painting all 151 Pokemon critters on the side of his 25-foot wall at his art studio. The side of the building, it was just, just real shabby and there was paint chipping off. It just didn't look good. So I've been dying to paint it, but I just didn't know with what. Inspired by his fascination with Pokemon Go, a mobile app that has become the hottest trending topic this year, coupled with a desire to see a change in this community. When Pokemon Go came out, I already love Pokemon. I'm playing uh, Ruby for 3DS, the latest video game. And I said, you know what? Let's do something for the community, for the kids, and A, for my business, because I also do marketing. My business is marketing, promotion, printing. So I said, let's mix up all three and put it on this wall. I did something that the kids could understand, that the kids could relate to, which was Pokemon. 151 of them, which I could relate to from my fascination when I was a kid, on the wall. And at the same time, what it did is it attracted so much traffic from other parts of the United States. You have people coming from other states just to come see this, just so their kids could capture them all, or just from young parents that remember this as their childhood so they can come and capture them all and show the kids what they remember. What Andalus did in 10 days with 125 spray cans was create something that not only captured the attention of Pokemon lovers around the world, but also the surrounding community. With positive messages, as seen next to the credit electrode that says, don't do drugs. Andalus hopes that young ones are inspired the way he was inspired to create art long before opening his own design studio in his hometown. Maybe these younger kids that want to paint, want to do art, they don't know where to start. This just gives them inspiration, and that's, that's really what the main goal is, is inspiration, but it also shows that you can use your craft, you can use art. A lot of people say, artists are broke artists. You can't make money from art. That's a false statement. That's what we perceive. But really, if you really put your mind to it and you know how to utilize it, you know a little bit of marketing and the whole aspect, you can use it for your business to make funds to feed your kids, feed your family, and to make money for yourself as well. As a teenager and enthused about creating art, Andalus created and sold his own t-shirts. Influenced by the hip-hop and rap industry, he advanced his talents through his education. I've always uh, been into sketching and drawing. Since I could remember, I can't even remember me without a pencil sketching cartoons. I used to like, uh, you know, like Marvel Comics, DC Comics, big, strong, muscle superheroes. I used to sketch them all the time. In class, teachers used to be like, pay attention, pay attention, but I'd be in my own world drawing and sketching, but that was my world, that was what I did. At high school, I was working at Toys R Us. I worked there for a little while, I said, you know what? I'm not doing this. I, I bought an airbrush. From there, I taught myself within a week to two weeks, I was airbrushing t-shirts. And then I would walk into class, I'd go to school with these custom t-shirts, and all my peers and friends at the school would be like, where'd you get that shirt? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, I'm the Rooster Artist. Um, I'm gonna do a tutorial today. Every other week, I put up a new video. Um, a lot of it are how-tos, do-it-yourselves, or just speed painting videos, which shows the process of me creating something. Since I deal with a lot of clients, I do a lot of events, I add that into their package. Working on some Pokemon phone pop. I have a Pokemon uh, sneaker. So we're on Pokemon. It's a, a Pokemon Yellow Edition phone posit, a Nike phone posit. He sent me his sneakers. They shipped them to me. They were all white, brand new. And I have a video, probably about 350,000 plus views, shows me um, pretty much painting the whole thing, the whole process from sanding the sneaker down, taking off the clear coat, airbrushing it, painting it, putting the details, and then clear coating it and finishing it and having a finished product. So it's a whole do-it-yourself video. People contact me every day and say that they watch me because it inspires them and helps them to become better artists. For more on Efren Andalus, go to andalustheartist.com. For Push Pause in Huntington, this is R.G. Snowden.